Hey guys, Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and this is a video of a FRP bypass on a Samsung device. Now I accidentally filmed it uh, vertically, I know, my bad, but you want to do a hotspot on another phone that doesn't have a SIM card in it, connect that Wi-Fi to the Samsung device, make sure it doesn't have a password, makes things easier. And then just wait for things. I sometimes pause the video during the, you know, longer portions. Um, I definitely should have filmed this horizontally. My bad. Maybe I'll redo this once I get another Samsung device that's FRP locked. I don't have any at home, so I can't do it on anything here at home. As you can see on the screen, though, I'm using a tool called Samsung Bypass uh, 2020, which brings this little pop-up up onto the screen, opens up YouTube, and... If you get an update screen, it's actually very easy to bypass, uh, and I'll do a video on that at a later date. But right now, I am going to my own personal website, which has a page with a bunch of stuff on it that you can probably guess the password for the <laughs> login. And then you open up the Galaxy Store. Let the Galaxy Store update. Come on. Let it update. I just really wasn't thinking because I was kind of filming this in like a secretive way. But, oh well. So let the Galaxy Store update and then it will take a second for the Galaxy Store's update to install. So you need to wait until that's done to try to open it up again. Yeah, I'm going to redo this once I get another Samsung device I can lock up. I whistle a lot when I talk. I just realized that. So as you can see, we're opening up the store again. You want to search for an app. You want to use the search term hidden settings, which you can find very easily. Just search it, hidden settings. Very difficult to do this while filming this way, but I was doing it while I was at work. Search. Download the app. You'll have to log into your Samsung account to do it. As you can see, I have to verify with two-factor. It'll log in. Sometimes it'll get stuck at this little loop if you're using the hotspot. And the reason the hotspot matters is... I accidentally hit back there. You don't need to hit back. The reason the hotspot matters is if you get that little update screen for YouTube, you need to uh, oh search the word generic. I accidentally searched the word hidden. But when that little update thing comes up, if you actually disconnect the Wi-Fi on the device, the hotspot, disconnect the Wi-Fi on the phone that's being the hotspot, you can bypass the need for YouTube update. Now you just need to put in a pattern passcode. I think PIN works as well, but this is the one I've always used. And then you just need to restart the damn thing. And once it turns back on, put in the passcode, you'll see it brings up the Android uh, setup. And wow, I suck at filming. <coughs> Next. Next. Come on. Skip. This was done on a, a SMT290, but I've had this work on tablets and phones, actually. I've even had this work on a Galaxy S21. Newer firmware from Factory has patched this method. I am trying to find a workaround. Basically, no matter what, they make you log into the Google account. But as you can see, we can skip because we put in the pattern that I created and you're able to get in with no account on the device. But yeah, newer firmwares actually have an issue where it's, uh, if you can, the firmware needs to be downgraded. Oh, come on, just let me past. Because no matter what, it forces you to 
log into a Google account, even if you put in the correct uh, PIN or passcode uh, or pattern. So as you'll see, oh, I accidentally went to security. So you'll be able to go to the lock screen settings and remove the lock screen you put on it. Then you'll also have to log out of the Samsung account that you put on the device. Which I do right here. Made a little funny account there. I literally named myself FRP Bypass. It was really interesting talking to Samsung with that as my email. Now we go to reset, and this is just to prove that the account is completely off even after a reset. So you go to the reset, you delete everything, and I paused it here because it does take a while on these older devices to power down, reset, and then reboot. It's a good like five or ten minutes, honestly. I do have a custom tool I am making myself to do this, so it will not be just Samsung devices that this works on. The uh, work in progress method basically I proved today that it works because I used a Android 6 based Plum device yeah a brand called Plum uh, running Android 6.0 and I got the pop up to even come up on that device so now I just need to program everything and I turned off the hotspot because I'm going to connect to our normal device testing Wi-Fi or actually skip it. But yeah, I have a proof of concept of my own software coming. Right now it's just a giant batch file, but that's not safe to release because that'll just get it patched really quickly. But a lot of the tools you find online will flash up on virus scanners because of the code obfuscation that the developers use to protect their stuff. I plan on kind of making it open source, but I'm going to encrypt text strings and stuff like that. So I don't know, we'll figure it out. But as you can see, it is fully bypassed, actually completely removed. It's not even a bypass, it's a removal. And you're good to go. Awesome. Talk to you guys later.